What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone video. I'm going to be predicting on what I think is about to happen in regards to the playtest and early access. I've logged about 65 hours in the playtest so far, and they've done quite a few hot fixes. And I can say honestly that the game has gotten a little bit better since last week. That being said, there's been some things that have not been fixed, mainly the AI system. There being bullet sponges sometimes, and it seems to be a cavity issue with the AI only. We don't really have this issue with PVP. The, and the second, it seems like most of the VIPs want to change the LZ system in some regard. I lean towards making it more competitive, trying to let them shoot out of the helicopter first because the quote unquote LZ campers, which more times than not, that's not the case. People are just wanting to extract and running into each other at the LZ. But nonetheless, it seems like the people on the helicopter are defenseless for the most part. So they want to change that. It's actively being worked on and they mainly want to change the AI, at least a little bit where they're pretty consistent with how much damage it takes to kill them. So what does that mean for the playtest and early access? For those of you that do not know, the early access was supposed to act as a final playtest and marketing stunt for Madfinger Games to get as many eyes on the game as possible and then launch early access immediately after using the same build that the playtest was on after they fixed everything. That build was more than likely, this is speculation, more than likely supposed to be already live either today or hopefully tomorrow before they were supposed to shut it down. And then there would be nothing left to do except push the game into early access and move forward. But with the LZ system and the AI issue with cavities, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. But I think there's two scenarios here. They still have to keep testing after the hotfixes go through with the AI and the LZ changes. And whether they're going to do that in-house, I don't know. Probably not. They will more than likely keep the playtest going until they figure this out. The other scenario is they stick to the plan and they launch early access either the end of this week or next week. So originally I said early access would be sometime at the end of April, but now with these issues, I think they extend the play test maybe even as far as one more week, really try to fix the AI system, maybe develop a new LZ system, and then they're going to launch the game in early access. There isn't going to be a long break if you're guessing that, you know, you're going to get to play the game later this summer, you know, all that stuff, people saying three months, six months, all that. No, this, this is supposed to be the last uh, commercial, if you will, for the game and the last little bit of testing. So as soon as they get this done, they're going to go into early access. It's just a matter of time. Even with the systems in place, I do, I know other people are disagreeing, but I do for an early access believe that the game is ready and people, you know, are going to run into those issues, but I don't think it'll turn them off from the game. I, I run into the AI cavity issue, probably one out of every 25 gunfights with them. And I get LZ camped, probably, I, I say camped, I fight at my LZ, probably one out of every hundred flights. But I also know that the servers may not be full every time. So again, guys, this is a speculative video, but from what I'm hearing at the FOB with other streamers and things like that, as well as Mara's attitude with the cavities in the LZ system, I believe the playtest will be extended at least a little bit until they get that ironed out, and then they're going to launch early access immediately after. I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's it for this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.